Hello, now we're back again with the uh, RuneScape Iron Man. How to uh, how to get everything still. We're still working towards that. So you were level uh, 50 woodcutting when we left off. Now you're level 54. Oh, basically 55 woodcutting. It's almost a level 60. Once you get level 60 woodcutting, then you could cut the yew trees. Oh, wherever they are. They're probably somewhere. Oh, 55 woodcutting. Now we could go do a quest somewhere, do another quest, try to get some of these done. Let's do stolen hearts, because it just said we had to fight like uh, three level two enemies, so we just need food and combat gear, medium to long. We started in Draenor village. Oh, we started where we are. We started here. So if we just go to the bank, so that actually works out. We started here. Oh, we didn't start the timer. Oh, we had the timer. Oh, we started. Now we know how long the recording is. If you deposit everything, maybe take out some pikes. You have uh, over 1,000 pikes. Holy. You always take uh, more pikes than you need because you don't know how dangerous these guys are going to be. But uh, 1,322 willow logs. That's going to give you so much fire making experience. So if you go directly to the north here, there should be a quest. Ozan. Wherever he is. Oh, here he is. Ozan. Go talk to him. We'll do the stolen hearts quest quickly. Get that all done and over with. Another one. You just talk to him. He says, uh, you just need food and combat gear. You're just going to be fighting. You're going to get uh, some combat experience lamps. Some titles. So he said, uh, go knock on the trap door. You can't open it. You try to open it. Say hello. Um. Can I come in, please? Oh, the sound went down. There we go. Now he said, uh, open the door. Could you let us in? Let me in or I'll poke your eyes out. Oh, that one worked. You do the third option. Perfect. You come talk to him. See what he has to say. Hello. Yes. We, uh, nod our head. And then we say, carry the goods home and case the joint. Perfect. It's a bit too loud now. Now would we say fake their death inside a prison riot? That sounds interesting. Perfect. Now we say make nice ones. Happy lackeys work them over. Okay. Well done. You have any? Do we have any questions? Tell me what jobs you have in the works. What jobs do you have? Oh, a kidnapping. He's talking about kidnapping somebody. So now we leave the place. Don't think there's anything else in here, right? Essentially, we just go back up and tell Ozman what we learned. Hey, Ozan, go tell him. Tell him everything. How do we find the headquarters? So, once we get them, are you ready? Yes. Now we have to stealthfully track this guy. Okay. We can't let him see us. Don't get too, I'll stick. If you get, I think I hear him coming. Oh, he's coming out. So we have to follow behind him. Make sure he does not spot you. But do not get uh, too far behind him. I think we can just like hold belt by this, right? He does a double loop okay. back or something. Now. Here's the money. The shipment leaves tomorrow. Oh, and then he's coming this way. Quick, run this way behind the house. Don't let him see you. Now we can just go this way into the house. Oh, there's crates in the way. They don't let you go that way. So when does he double back? He goes into the market. Then he comes back. Oh, he doesn't come back yet. Or maybe he does come back. Oh no, he's not going. You keep following him. Don't let him out of your sights. When does he start coming back? Okay. Oh. Now. Keep following him. Oh. What if he hide over here? Oh, don't let him get away. He's going over this way. So he still has not seen you. Perfect. Oh, Ozan got uh, lost back there. Walk 
here behind them. Seems they made it uh, easier. He's hiding them inside the jail house. Just went into the headquarters. Quick, uh, open the door. Catch him. Catch him in the act. Okay. Well done. Get him before he gets you. Now, recruit. What are you doing? Darn. Quick. Ozan, get him. Ozan gets him. Now, before he can escape, we have to get him. If we can get him. Oh, what happened? Somebody comes in. Someone came in and stuck us up. Don't worry. You've made it out of worse than this. Definitely. If we can make it out of this one alive, we can make it through anything. Fine. But you are Wait, oh, we did it. We successfully successfully completed. We unlocked uh, two new music tracks. Now, what do we do? Um, I'll beat the truth out of them. We'll find easier cells. I'll lock you up and throw away the key. I'll lock you up and throw away the key. Sure, that'd be fun. He likes to get away out. How uh, we'll find uh, them easily ourselves. Said there's three mercenaries. Oh, let's beat the truth out of them. I'll get the. We just restarted the computer. How about some sort of truth serum? Oh, his father does know a truth serum. Amazing. If he, uh, yeah, if he does go to jail, they're just gonna feed him for free, aren't they? Until he gets freed. So, are we all done? Talk to Leah. Get to the shore. Get to the shore. Oh, the shore. Go down. So you leave the house. Now that the cutscene's over, leave the house. Go south. You need to go south to the shore. And then you just need to feed uh, three bandits. And then, oh, here they are. Here's all the bandits. Careful, there's actually three of them and only uh, one or two of you. Just then you meet the mercenaries on the shoreline. Say hello, we have uh, finally found you. Oh, and then your friend teleports in. And now it's a three on three battle. A fair fight. Although, we're a bit higher than level twos. So she escapes on the boat, not able to get her. Oh, and then she takes control of these people. Oh, and then they turn against you. Oh. So now it's a three on three battle. Quick, it's just like a tactics. Who's gonna. Win? Don't let Ozan die. Don't let the girl die. Take out the one enemy. Take out the second enemy pretty soon here. Let's keep attacking him. Now, just attack the third and final enemy. You have done it. Loot everything. Get the. Take the ransom note. And then talk to us. Well, yes. It's not over. That's not. I know. Whoa. Osman would. Not if I. Why don't you? No. <sighs> Thank you. My she says thanks and for defeating well, the enemies. Look, we made I it out leave. successfully alive. Did you want to travel with Osan? Yes, you did. You. you didn't want to also, walk there by yourself. Take the, palace. take the uh, free teleport. So you, tele you have questions? Uh -oh. Please, my path. I will talk then. I so we're we supposed to do quests. Uh, Ozan needs to travel to Alcrad, which is East Rain or beyond Lumbridge. Ozan is traveling. So you just keep traveling east until you reach the Al Kared. So you're going east uh, to the gates, maybe? Just in this direction. So I thought the quest was gonna end there, but they send you all the way to Alcrid. Good old Lumbridge. Alcarid's over the river to the east. Oh, so we just keep going across the bridge. You went across this bridge one time before. <clears throat> I think there was an achievement here. Said if you can successfully open the gates here, then you deserve an achievement. And the castle is right up ahead, I believe. You just go straight to the castle. Oh, here's Al Kared. Oh, a crash star! We found a crash star! We need one! Congratulations! We were the first one to find it. Because there's only two hours left in the day, and we didn't have any crash stars. 
prospect. Um, 1%. Examine a 5 star. Oh, world, world 43. Okay, so now we call this 2 star find. Say, world 43, F2B, AKB, size 5, uh, 1 minor. Uh, the sound. I think that's everything, right? You tell them the world, you tell them free to play, where it is. Let's just start the Alcred Bank S5, one minor just found. There we go. Now people are, oh we have to click on the click on the thing. These star crest stars. Sometimes you luckily randomly find them, and that's good for you. Because we've been looking at the chat all day. We haven't seen anybody, anyone has not reported any free to play stars. No one's reported any free to play stars. We do have to complete the quest. But these stars out here. We'll be getting our 200 dust for sure. So, besides all of that, what is her talk about? So are we gonna sit here mining this? It is a size 5, we could wait for other people. FTP Alcred Bank S5 1 miner. We just found it. We just stumbled upon it doing the quest. We found uh, two of these just stumbling by them just doing quests. So I think we just have to go inside the palace, right? We'd get into the palace and find him. He's not with me. All his men find right at the foot of the palace steps. Oh, somebody came. Someone came. Level three. Came to try to mine it. Oh, he's in the friend chat. Oh, another prison. Yeah. Let's go finish the quest quick. Let's go quickly. Go up here. We can talk to the palace guard, maybe. Hello, we'd like to go in. We have our urgent business to talk to the captain of the palace here. If you could please let us by, then we could uh, give him all the information that we have. He says, please do not uh, come in here. There's no way to get in. Talk to us in. We're going to have to break in. We're going to have to go on the roof. Is this where you break in the place? Oh, so for... Oh. What? Domic's, craft Domic's crafting store is in the northeast of the city. Oh, northeast of the city. So we should finish this quest that a star might be there for a bit. Northeast, we go to the crafting place. And then we climb upstairs. Is the crafting? Let's go upstairs. I guess this is the one where you go on the roof, so it's uh, not a short quest. So we just go climb on top of the roof again. Oh, you get a new music track, Rooftops. Cool. So now we just uh, go up here. Oh, walk across the plank. Walk across the plank. And then Ozan will follow you. So since they would not let you in the uh, front entrance of the place, you're going to have to come by the top entrance of the place. Slide down the awning. Guess you have to wait for... Always had to show up. And then just go into the building. Oh, into the building, and then we go. Oh, excuse me. Who are you? We we're just running through. Ignore us. Uh, I'll walk across the washing line. Get off of my laundry. We need to get inside the palace. So then you walk across the laundry. Wait for Ozan. And it should be coming right behind you. Oh, there he is. Climb the ladder. Now we're at the highest point again. Oh, jeez, it just keeps uh, somersaulting up there. And then you have to cross the planks. We could probably even see the people mining down there. Oh, there's the crash star. The crash star does show from up here. I can't see the people, though. Then we climb up the ladder again. Once Ozan catches up, here we go. Maybe because of the marketplace. What, what he was talking about. Are we supposed to go across that tightrope? Oh, no. You go across uh, this tightrope. Jump from the scaffolding. You're going to jump all the way over there? 
Wow, we made it. You could have definitely killed yourself there if you didn't make the jump properly. Wait for Rosa and climb down the rug. Now that you have successfully climbed down the rug, see if you could swing across the uh, wooden frame. If you could do that, can we see them people now? Maybe. Have you seen the rumors? Did we just uh, jump? Oh, jump across here now. Just one small jump. And then you just bounce down from the awning. Where are we going? How, why would you bounce down from the awning? Did we go to the right place? What? Climb up the bricks? Oh, you bounce off here up to there. That makes sense. I thought we were going down to the ground level to the guards over there. So then once uh, Ozan catches, you just uh, climb up the brickwork. Climb to the top of the building. And then once at the top of the building, then you have to leave it to Ozan Flagpole. Leave it to Ozan Flagpole. Click on leave it to Ozan Flagpole. I've got this one. Huh. So Ozan shoots his bow, he adds his rope to it, and he ties it. Now you could just uh, climb across to the top of the palace. Okay. Holy. Now we just need and then you shimmy across the rope that uh, he has just made. Ozan's seems pretty resourceful at this point. Now, is Ozan gonna make it or is he gonna fall? No, you guys both made it. So then you climb up the brickwork. Hold up, hold up. Oh, there's a voice. He hears something. Hopefully, we don't get caught. Like, climb up the brickwork. What's happening? There's a voice. Oh, here's the cutscene again. There. Oh, we could hear everything that they're talking about. Among others, All of their secrets. Rest assured. Can't know. It's and he says, we can't let anybody know about this. We're trying to rule the world and steal everybody's possessions and take them for our own. <laughs> If you cannot do this, uh, keep the keep everybody out of our palace. Our secrets must not be known. As he goes and says, "Hello, are you gonna be okay? Hopefully, you can survive this ordeal." Sorry that we have poisoned you. Whoa, we didn't uh, know they actually poisoned him. Although we already knew that. So now, if you what climb up the brickwork, will that work? Are we supposed to climb up the brickwork? I think we're pretty much here, right? Are we supposed to go inside the place? Over here, break in through the skylight. So the quest is taking a while. We do want to get the stardust. I'll tie up a rope. So you tie up a rope and he's gonna help us get down. Oh, let me just jump. Okay. Oh, this so thing. We have to uh, successfully, successfully is. figure out the proper out. weight. How do we do this? How do we do this? Place weight on the Alcred display. Uh, the thing should inspect the scales. Here we go. We have to find the heaviest weight, right? There, and then you place the weights there. You'd see which side is heavier. They're equal. Oh, so it'd be none of these. None of those is the heaviest weight. None of those is the heaviest weight. So is it this one or one of these ones? So we could try again. It's equal weight. So it is one of these two. You have completed two weighings and the scales are locked in place. Drake the way you believe is the heaviest. So it could be either of these two. A 50-50% chance. You drag it to the bag. You take the weight you believe to be the heaviest. 50-50% chance. Place the weight on the display. See if we successfully chose it.
because of it. Yeah. Reset. You can't be sure. That might have been the wrong way. Oh no. I had to put but I That was the wrong one. That was a 50-50 chance to get it. Would they be the same or does it reset? Let's just start it again and inspect these guys. Oh, it saved it. So let's try to see. Oh, yes, yeah, so the weight's on this side. So it did reset. So it's one of these three weights. So we can take uh, these off here. We can take uh, this off. And then we can see it's one of these ones again. So it's not this one. So it'll be one of these ones. Hopefully, it's this one. Place the weight on the display. And then what happens? Is that the right one? The animation's going longer. Oh, did we successfully? Oh, someone's in the vault. We have successfully got it. Oh, they cut the rope from us. We can't escape. They must have been on top of the palace. They must have uh, suspected that someone was going to try to break into the palace. So now you try to reason with them and say, do not kill us, you have to let us go, we have to save the world, we came to tell you, we came to stop you, we came to stop this guy. Uh, what was the thing? We don't know what the uh, word was. <laughs> we didn't listen. Did we fail? We didn't get the right things? Or maybe we did. We should have seen what the key phrase was. So considering it seems we're going through the cutscene, we can see if we could uh, pressure him. Because we have to convince him. If he can't do it then, oh no, we have killed him. He is dead. I guess it wasn't poisoned. I guess we killed him. Oh jeez. That is the end of the quest. They're gonna blame us. They're gonna blame you. Blame you for killing him. So you have to get out of here. Before you Oh, quest complete. Combat experience lamp. Agility lamp. Uh, oh, those are only members. That's alright. You can't get experience anyways. Rub combat experience lamp into health experience. Uh, health has went up uh, one level, up to level 19. Constitution experience, gain 250 health experience. So that's the quest. Let's go check the thing. There is miners over there. Can we leave the house? Pass through the palace entrance. There we go mine. We go mine the crash star. I wonder if these aren't in our friends chat. <clears throat> we are in the friends chat. They wouldn't have kicked us for any reason. We located the star for them. About 20 minutes after that. Alright, so that quest is complete. We could sit here and mine the star. Try to get the star dust. Wait for it to finish. So what size is it now? Size 3. So it's gone down two sizes. As long as we get the 200 star dust. We'll come back when we claim the rewards, maybe? And then time for another quest, hopefully. Alright, so we're back again. The star is at uh, 93%. There's seven miners here. I don't think we're gonna use the buff. The mining buff, it's just for 15 minutes. Uh, you have a chance to get an extra ore. I think we're just gonna do the quest instead. Most of the rewards is just when you finally open the star and then you get the uh oh we could set this as the active one swept away we're doing that here's the star sprite talk to him get your fifty thousand money your cosmic runes your astral runes and then you teleport to draenor village so now that's all done we found that star and we reported that star and then seven people came a whole bunch of people came Mainly because it's a free-to-play star. Mainly people are probably looking for a free-to-play. So directly west from the waypoint, you go talk to this person. 
Ah, oh, talk to Maggie. So we're gonna see if we can do this within 20 minutes. Ah, oh, something smells interesting. Ask her what it is. She says it is her food that she is cooking. She will give you some food if you can help her. All right, accept the quest. Does not require anything. It's short to medium. Gives you broomstick quest points. Why, well, yes, there's something you could do. Could you go talk to the witches and uh, get them to enchant it for me? Sure, we could get them to enchant the brooms. So we go to the southwest here, right? Quest, Hetty and Remington, AG and Draenor, Betty and Port Serum. So maybe in the magic shop over here. You would just uh, open the magic shop, open the door, and then go talk to Betty. Talk to her. She says, uh, oh, what? Oh, there's a mugger here. Quick, destroy the mugger before he destroys you. That's why, that's why you always bring food with you. Now it heals 475. Pike heals a lot more. Right now you can talk to Betty. Talk to Betty about swept away. She says, hello, we need to enchant this staff. She says, I have uh, something for you to do. There's one problem. We can't uh, open the chest until we find what the problem is. So you head downstairs, open the trap door. Oh, why didn't we loot everything? Why didn't it loot it? Loot it and then hit the spacebar button and then it uh, loots the, oh, a charge bow. A charge bow, you just got a bow upgrade. You just defeated that mugger, and you got a bow upgrade. So now we talk to Lodi. We need to retrieve Betty's wand. You tell her that. She says, if you want to retrieve the wand, we need you to figure out uh, which which type of creature is inside the cage. Right? Oh, this is the cage one. Looking on the map, we have to put the creatures in the proper cage. So you would uh, move the creature in the holding pen. Oh, not this one. You take the blackbird pen, you take the bat, you would put it in this holding pen. So hopefully we get this right. You put the blackbird in the holding pen. And then you take the, what is this? A bat, the bat's in the bat pen. Is this a spider? <clears throat> and this is the rat pen. What creature's in the rat pen? A loose a lizard. Hmm, reptile pen, spider. We're gonna have to remember how to do this. The bat pen is in the proper place, right? The snail pen, and the snail is in the proper place, so it'll be one of these ones. The spider pen, rat. Blackbird has to go here. I thought we'd just put the bat over here. Oh, the blackbird. The blackbird has to go in this pen. And the rat has to go in the rat pen, so the blue seal. Spider. There's the spider pen. So you go here, you take the rat, uh, move the creature from the spider pen. You remove it, put it in the blackbird pen. Is that right? You put the rat in the pen, she doesn't seem very happy here. So the spider pen. Oh, okay. And then you would uh, take the spider from the reptile pen. You put the spider in the spider pen. Now the spider, she looks really happy. Now you're looking for the reptile pen. You can put the, take the lizard, move the reptile, put it in the reptile pen. Perfect, she looks really happy in there. Now the rat pen, go to the creature holding pen. Then you take the rat, and then you would put it in the rat pen. Oh, what is that? Oh, you don't, can't take a creature into a chamber that has another creature inside. I don't think it's, uh, that I'll go into a room that has another creature in it. Oh. So you'd put the blackbird in the pen. So with the red tail pen, he has the spider. Are we supposed to take this? Move the creature into the rat pen. Oh, move the rat into the rat pen. Now she looks happy. Now you could get the move creature from the holding pen. Now you could put the blackbird into the blackbird pen. Perfect, everything looks amazing. Now you can go talk to, talk to the witch. She will say, yes, we have done it. Well, we did it, didn't we? Open the chest. Put the black 
black person and she looks extremely happy. Everyone should be happy. Well done, you got it. Do you remember what we need to do? Right, of course, now you've moved all of the creatures to the other pens. You should be able to get Betty's wand out of the chest. Oh, we did. Okay, we opened it. Did we stop the animation? So then after you complete that, you just go and open the chest, and then you wait. Oh, and then do you... Don't close the chest. Open the chest, and then you search the chest. There you go, you found the wand. Now you can go upstairs, climb up the ladder. Oh, and then watch out for the mugger. The mugger might try to kill you again. Careful about him. <laughs> loot whatever he dropped. Take his loot. And then you talk to Betty. So, talk to Betty about swept away. Hello, we have uh, successfully did everything. Thanks. Now the broom has been enchanted. Now you go to the southwest. So, open the door so you can leave the place. Go down southwest. Now you need to go to Remington. Then there's just like two more witches to go through. Wonder if that was the longest one. Wonder if the newts is gonna take too long. And then the other one is just uh, easy, isn't it? Just remove three things. So you continue to Remington. You open the door to where the witch is, where you did the witch's potion quest. Then you talk to Hetty. Hello, we have uh, something you need to help us with. Help us uh, enchant this broom. She says, if you go down to the basement and help me with uh, whatever I am doing, then she can enchant the broom for us. So you climb down the trapdoor. He says, hello, we mislabeled these things. We don't know which creature is in any of these. Could you help solve us by trying to put the proper creature on the, on the box? You said, sure, we could uh, try to do that. So you take your pictures, all of the things are labeled incorrectly, so you go maybe put the frogs on this one. Don't you want to search the crate first so you can figure out where to put the labels? Oh, extract creature from the wrong label thing. You pull out a toad, it wriggles out of your hand. Oh, so this one's the toad, so we know this is the toad. Oh, don't eat the fish. And then one of these would be mislabeled, so that's the toad. This would be this one, and this would be this one. Congratulations. Um, yes please? Okay, give me a second. Did we fail? We haven't finished labeling the crates. Oh. Uh, go and extract the creature from here. Pull out a toad, it wriggles out of your hand. So maybe this is actually this one. This is the one with uh, two creatures on it. And then this one is the one with toads. That doesn't make any sense. It's probably completely wrong. Oh, there was a third one here. Maybe that's just toads by itself and here's Newt's put them on. Oh, Newt's, can you please? Yes, please. Okay, give me a second. So you talk to him. Can you remind me what we need to do? Crate some up and uh, label each and every crate. Don't really know how it happened. Top notch. Uh, oh, what if we extract from the dual creature crate? Pull out a newt. It wriggles out of your hand. So this is a newt. We know that's a newt. We know this is toads. And we know this one's uh, two creatures. Hooray, we did it. So there's that part of the quest complete. Now you could uh, talk to him, see if he gives you something. Thanks. And then you can uh, climb. Oh, we need a uh, newt. We need a uh, newt. Pull a newt out of the newt box. You fish around and extract it. A newt. Perfect. Climb up the ladder. And then you have uh, successfully got a newt for her. Now you could talk to Hetty, say hello, we have uh, managed to find the newt for you. Amazing, thanks. So now you use the anointment on the broomstick, and then it gets enchanted. And then you just go northeast, 
to see the home teleport. Just go to Drain R. Alright, now that you're in Draenor Village, you just have to go directly south. Directly south to the final witch. All we had to do was talk to three witches and then they just had to tell us to uh, do one task. And then they gave you the rewards, right? Talk to AG. What does she want us to do? Um, talk about swept away. Then she'll say, hello, we have another task. You can bring us here now. All you have to do is come teleport with me and help me. And then I will help you. Then you talk to her. So we need to get rid of these symbols. So there's uh, three triangles. Is that right? So if we get rid of, uh, what? Can't get rid of that one. How do we do this? We just need to get the triangles. Is that what we do? What do we do? To ask her what you do? How are we getting? Uh, what are we supposed to be doing? She says, hello, we're supposed to be... There's lines of sand on the ground, yes. Uh, a lot of magic. All sorts of magic. To activate, you need to sweep away four of the 16 lines. You leave four small triangles. Oh, we could sweep away four of them. I thought we could sweep away three. So that makes it simple there. You just want to sweep away this line and then you'd want to sweep away this line it's like how are we supposed to make triangles just by sweeping away three lines and then she tells us we can sweep away four so once you have swept those four you have completed it you helped her and then she enchants your room right talk to ag hello we have uh, completed it i'd like to go back to drain R. And then you can leave the place. So I don't think you ever uh, go back there again, do you? Or can you go back there? So now you leave her house. You go directly to the north, to the box. To where your quest has started. And then you could uh, complete the quest. And then you get the experience goulash if you want. Although... Oh, we should look into it, right? Is it uh, based on your level or something? I have good news for you. Your house uh, appears on. Oh, tell her that you have good news for her. Say we have uh, fully enchanted the broom. We have fully did uh, everything that you have asked. Of course, I could just a quick stir, and then you just uh, stir the cauldron with the broom. And then once that is complete, who's Wendy? Another witch. Oh, and then you talk to Maggie again. Welcome. I have stirred the cauldron for you. Then she says, thank you for stirring the cauldron. Everything that you have done has helped me greatly. I will give you huge rewards. She says, two quest points. Access to 10 points of goulash. So I think we're going to save the goulash. I think you could uh, save it. Maybe, maybe if your skills are a higher level, maybe it'll give you more experience. So level 55, wood cutting. Maybe we were gonna do fishing trying to get level 55 fishing because we're just about there we were doing fishing before the video we're like um let's just stop just before 50 so it doesn't take as long when we actually go to level it and deposit the broom we do want the charge bow i don't think we want the chocolate cake or anything we really got to worry about uh management we don't really want bronze armor we could wear iron armor so we don't even need those spike gauntlets you don't need those the hammer, eventually, you're gonna have to defeat that vampire that you could not defeat. So you can put the charge ball in there, and then just uh, drop everything. Drop the vial, drop the bronze armor, drop the spike gauntlets. Well, spike gauntlets. We don't have any. Oh, we do have gloves. Level armor, five hybrid gloves. Drop them. <clears throat> so now you have a bit of inventory space again. And yeah, we'll just end the clip and then we'll come back in a little bit and then we'll see what we're doing. I think we're doing fishing, but there's uh, two quests done. Quest is uh, looking, looking all right. We're doing more of them. All right, so we have to uh, fill like four minutes. So if we just uh, teleport to the home teleport to Lumbridge, 
think we've been doing enough wood cutting. We got our five wood cutting levels. Now if we could get our five fishing levels, then they'll both be uh, that much closer to level 60. And then eventually we could do fletching and crafting. Although fletching and crafting, we haven't done anything, right? If you just go northwest to the bank here, and just go use the bank chest. Probably used a whole bunch of bait. We've caught uh, so many pikes. We've caught a whole bunch of pikes. It's like 1,327 pikes raw, plus the 270 cooked, plus uh, probably all the ones that we have burnt. We only have uh, 1,400 bait left. So if we hit the one button, we set if a preset, so we just withdraw the 50 bait. And then in a one hour, everything resets. Sometimes we get like a new daily challenge. Um, and then anything else happen? Oh, we could go uh, mine the things again. Mine the crashed stars, that resets. Oh, and then the cabbage patch. It means cabbage patch is only two days away now. Although, like we said, we were just on fishing. You could go to the activity tracker, complete this. You could uh, remove it, because we have completed it. The quest has been marked. Now we just have one, two, three, four, five, six. Still 11. It was at 11 before. Every time we complete a quest, it seems a new uh, quest, quest opens up. Priest and Pearl, Song from the Depths. This so may be next episode, another one to two quest probably. And then uh, in between the episode, while we're doing this, we're just what, fishing? Basically just fishing, basically trying to get level 60 and everything. And then the achievements. Once the uh, quests are done, we're just gonna have to start doing other things. Oh, let's look at the uh, quest list uh, with without hiding the done ones so we can see these are all the ones that we have done we have done so many of them we've done all of these quests and it's only those ones left to do amazing so then pretty soon it'll be all green so that'd be the ultimate goal right get all the quests into green status which means that you have did them and then the other things probably achievements for any hero achievements probably getting all of the achievements so we still have uh still haven't done any of the paths there's still 44 paths that we have to do so drain or that's just killing that stupid vampire Ferrock quests port serum quests so we are making progress just doing these random quests and the exploration everything like that achievements lumbridge still just need to go to the jailhouse so what's our summary? Summary is like a uh, total of 486, combat level 21, almost uh, 1 million experience. Completed 20, we did uh, 20 quests already. 20 quests have been completed. And then what, just all the level 40 to 60? 60 skills, and then magic. Got some magic levels, some defense, some armor. So, we're just gonna keep fishing here. Pretty soon we'll be level 51. We'll just wait till we get level 51 and then we'll end the video. Uh, if we had some pike. Seems the pike to have uh, stopped coming in. Oh, sometimes the pike usually comes in really fast. Same with the willow logs when you're out there wood chopping. All the logs come in so quick. That's why we got to level 55. And then we also actually defeated the evil tree. Oh, yeah, because if you go to here, if you go to mini games, go to evil tree, it says we have killed a, oh, what? We already de defeated a tree. We defeated one of the trees. Oh, I thought that was an evil tree. It's an evil tree spawned out of the ground and we defeated the evil tree. It gave us like fire making. It didn't really give us. Oh, it allowed us to uh, auto bank our logs when we were cutting the willow trees. It said uh, all of your logs will go to the bank automatically. So you literally just stand there and mine willow logs and you don't have to move. Oh, there we go. Level 51 fishing. Is it worth skill chompa? Now. 
maybe when we get back we'll be 55 fishing hopefully just fishing pikes with baits